Health by Elizabeth and I have Doña Sonia and Chef Marco here with me today and we are going to make sangria. sangria. Yes. So, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, um, can I drink alcohol and lose weight at the same time? Or they think that they can't drink alcohol and lose weight at the same time and you actually can, but you just need to do a couple simple things. Um, but today we are making sangria. We're going to make two different types of sangria and um, They were just telling me that sangria is different in Mexico. Yes. So let's talk about that first Okay, the sangria in Mexico the, the, origin, the origin for the sangria is for Spain first second the, in Mexico we made the sangria the traditional sangria is a red wine Fresh lime, um, mineral water, mineral water oh, and, some sugar. and simple syrup. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a basic. Is a lemonade plus wine, red wine, and topping with the. So slice of. This scissors. Yeah. Okay. So if you order sangria here, you're gonna get a glass that is half lemonade and half red wine. And if you're like me, the first time, you're going to be like, well, where's my fruit? And Margaret <laughs> said, well, you didn't order a clericot. So clericot. Yeah. Okay. So clericot. The clericot. The clericot basically is the, the same thing plus fruit. Okay? So the, the same thing meaning the le le the lemonade. Lemonade. Or, or we have another variation. Oh, yeah, there's versus uh like he's like oh you can use fanta yeah orange <laughs> soda oh, mm, that's so yummy let's have some orange and, drink and and like, i uh, saw a thing online wine. for um apple soda which they have apple soda here it's very popular mm -hmm. so that would make it taste different but we're we're going to just use the lime juice today <clears throat> okay okay you can use the white wine mm -hmm. in the, the, the two version in the clericot or the sangria too. Okay. And another thing, okay, the sangria, the traditional sangria, if you, if you want more wine or more, um, I don't know. Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 You, you, you need to say the Sangria Argentina. I don't know what is the reason to say Ar Ar Argentina, <laughs> Argentina. I'm like, that makes no sense because rum, as far as I know, does not come from Ar um, Argentina. Argentina. So right. why do they call it that? But that's a sangria or clericot spiked with rum. Okay. okay. With rum. Okay. That would be potent. Well, we'll try it. We'll see okay. how potent it is. Yeah. Okay. okay, so um, which one do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the red one or the white one? We started with the red one, okay. with the traditional sangria. Right? Okay, and so one of the questions I always have is, do you want sweet wines or do you want dry wines? Do you want expensive wine? Do you want cheap wine? Um, just like with our margaritas, we look for a bottle of wine that we would drink on its own um, that's not... Uh, super expensive wine because we don't want to waste a really nice wine by putting um, fruit and other stuff in it. Um, we found this, which is a Mexican wine. We hadn't tried it before. It's by Cuatro Soles, is the vineyard. And all it said was vino tinto afrutado. So we thought, well, it's going to be kind of fruity, so we'll give that a try. And indeed, it is fruity, but it's delicious. It's not too sweet, but you'll probably add less syrup to it. Yeah. Um, than we would otherwise and okay so that's a really good point then so the sweeter your wine is the less you would want to add yes. like simple syrup or something like yes. that okay yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and also the they were I was reading online that the main thing you want to look for is a wine that's low in tannins but then I was getting conflicting advice where people were saying don't use Merlot because it's too fruity and then another person would say Go with something fruity. So it just depends yeah. on how fruity or dry you like. Okay. So drink. like with any wine, you know, we used to do these wine tastings, Gary and I did years ago. And you know, what we found out was just drink what you like. I mean exactly. you don't have to spend a lot of money if you don't like expensive wines. Yeah. And 
you know, there are some really good wines that are cheaper. Yeah, I mean, nowadays you can get really mm -hmm. decently priced wines, and some of the things I read was like, oh, this wine is great, it's only $20, so it's a perfect wine for sangria, and I'm like, personally, I think that I wouldn't spend $20 on a bottle <laughs> of wine and put it in sangria, but it just depends on your taste and your, your budget. budget. Yes. Yeah. And another thing, uh, many, many cocktails that is it's beginning for the people don't have many <laughs> have a many time mm -hmm. and he say okay what happened is I put this and this this is a new brand or new flavor okay mm -hmm. this is the, the, the same in the, in the kitchen the, the, the origin for the mole the origin for the many kinds okay that the people have many time they try to make. I think what it means is they have a lot of time on their hands, so they just drink and drink and, drink <laughs> and make up new sangrias. Well, there you go. Which sounds fun. Okay. Oh, you can also use sparkling wine or mm -hmm. a rose. Mm -hmm. a and a sparkling selection. wine sounds really festive for the for, new year. For holidays. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we had seen a really nice looking one on Facebook. Both of us had noticed it, but it was with cranberries, fresh cranberries, and we can't find fresh cranberries here. So, so we couldn't make it. We for couldn't you. make that one. Yeah. But those of you in the States should definitely make it. And tell us how it was. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, type in the comments and we will try to answer those for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. We started with the fresh lime. It's at eight ounces. Eight ounces of lime juice. Yes. Fresh squeezed today. Yes, today. Yes. <laughs> yes. In this case, we have the fruit, fruit wine, juice only. Two point or three ounces. Okay. That's it. So three ounces of what is this? Simple syrup. Simple, Simple syrup. syrup. Oh, okay. Okay. And you would usually use. Yes. Five or six? Five or six. Okay. Okay. Sparkle water. Awesome. Okay. And be careful that your sparkle water doesn't have some weird flavor in it because sometimes I'm going to hurry and I grab it and it's something <laughs> weird like coconut. Coconut sparkled water. No, no, that's not I well, accidentally picked you. up the lime and salt and it was so gross. Oh, no, the mm. lime and salt is good. Don't No, it. it's gross. Mm, no, you know, <laughs> no. The, the pepino, the cucumber lime and salt one is weird. But we actually drink the lime and salt one. But I wouldn't use it for sangria because it has salt in it. Okay. 10 ounces for the sparkling water. Okay. And you don't have a lot of room the, left yeah. for uh, wine. Yeah. Now you're using the spoon to keep the um, the separation between the two. Yes, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So like I said, when I first got my oh maybe can you see it? Maybe hold it up. And when I first got my yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I first got my drink when I ordered the sangria. I was like, this looks cool, but I didn't think <laughs> it was a sangria, but it is. Okay. All right. You got it. Okay, this is the, the presentation, this is the, the big picture. Sometimes when, when you take the, only the glass, all the time coming for the separate the colors, right? So you do it individually? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was, I was mentioning earlier that in Portland there are some places that have sangria, and I think they use probably really cheap wine, and then they just let the fruit sit in there for a long time. And when you get it, it's kind of like a watery fruit juice and wine. It doesn't have a lot of, it's not very interesting. And that's what I like about the, the lime juice is it makes it really, really yummy and interesting. But that being said, you can't keep it. Like you have to drink it. Yeah, so this, then, I take it that you don't need to um, make ahead of time. No. No. Right? No. So this could be made right right then and there. Yes. Yeah. In this case, if you made a sangria or clary cut, you mm. don't keep in your, uh, in your frozen or in your freezer mm -hmm. because uh, the lime plus the sugar, mm -hmm. we, we have the element for that. 
Fermentation. Fermentation. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change flavor a little bit. Okay. Good. That's good. That's uh, It's fizzy. It's a little tart. Um, and it's sweet. But it's, yeah, it's very festive. And yeah. it's a lovely color. Yes. Mm -hmm. All since, right. Since it doesn't have more than like a half bottle of wine in it, I don't know, would it be less calories? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though there's a little bit of sugar in there. Yeah, the but um, the the sparkling water is going to keep you hydrated. So that actually, that's a really good thing to drink if you are trying to control your calories. Yes. For sure. Okay. So now, are we going to move on to the the, the white sangria? Are you going to no. make clary cut? Oh, Red. no. Oh, okay. what are we making now? Clary cut. Okay, clary cut. Sorry. Are we going to make the claricot with this? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. We're making three drinks today. <laughs> I didn't know this. That's totally fine. That's awesome. You get two, three for the price of one. So our fruit, we're using what we have here locally. Um, yeah, and normally in the States, we make it with stone fruit. Yeah, it's delicious with stone fruits, peaches, plums. But the peaches and plums here, besides being super expensive, they're not very good. Um, they're not very juicy. So we're going to use uh, apples, pineapple, strawberries, and orange. Okay. Awesome. And so we probably want that to sit for a little bit, because otherwise it's going to taste exactly like this. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put that on hold, and we're going to come back to it. So in there is strawberries, apples, and oranges. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, pretty. That on the side. Okay, so let's see. We have that one and we have that one. Perfect. All right. Next. Next. We make the white clear cut. Okay. Okay, the white clear cut. The base, remember, use the lime. Lime juice, okay. Lime Perfect. Juice. Eight ounces. Eight, Eight ounces. ounces. Eight ounces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four ounces of. Um, Simple syrup. Mm, that's tasty. Yeah. Mm. Did it change <laughs> the flavor because the pineapple and the mm. and the apple. Yeah. All right. I'm not yeah. gonna wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I wait? Right. Yeah. Sorry, I was putting it out there to no, display. I know. Um, it's really okay, so I'm sorry. So, uh, Marco, how much? Uh, you put eight four, ounces of uh, lime eight juice. Eight ounces of the lime juice. Four ounces of the. Four ounces the, of. Simple, uh, simple syrup. Got okay. it. Mm-hmm. Ten ounce. You say how to know for this is a ten ounce for okay. This is a practice okay. all the time. Just estimate ten ounces. Yes. Okay. Do you need a bigger pitcher? I know. I think this pitcher is smaller than <laughs> no. no. No? No. We'll fill it right up to the rim. Yeah. It'll be yeah. awesome. <laughs> We'll just put a straw in. <laughs> I've only had two sips of sangria, by the way. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. We have yeah. the exact same amount. He's very good at eyeballing things. Perfect. I am not. This is yep. yes. the same thing. So in this case, we don't have the separation of the... Right. The, I mean... Yeah. We, there, it's, there, not, it's, it's not as distinct. Some, but anyway. Perfect. Okay. And the food. Mm. This is one of those dangerous drinks, um, <laughs> where it's just so good, you just want to keep on drinking it. That's Although true. it has that mineral water, so it's not probably going right. to pack a punch until the... Right. One of the tips that I give my clients for uh, drinking alcohol during the holidays is to alternate uh, mineral water or regular water with your alcoholic drinks. So one, that you're not getting a headache uh, the next day, and also so that you don't get as intoxicated. Um, and just start eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good and you exactly. have no control. Um, but this way, you're at least drinking some water along with your alcohol. Someone out there is going to say something about diluting your alcohol, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, yeah, and I was, I was going to bring some snacks so we could have snacks. <laughs> that didn't happen, so sorry. We'll just, okay. have to, we'll have we'll to just alternate. Have to 
We'll, we'll just have to eat the fruit. fruit. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We should have invited some of our Quinarellian friends to come and help <laughs> us drink all of this sangria. This is not aggressive. Not like a margarita. Yeah, it's not it's not strong or aggressive like a margarita, yet it's very refreshing. Okay, and how long do you want your uh, fruit to hang out in the the wine, the mixture, the liquid mixture before you serve it? Uh, okay. okay, if you make the the clary cut, you have the two or three hours maximum. Okay. And and then you need to throw the the fruit. Okay. Be because you have the, the problem for the fermentation. Okay. Okay. Or just eat all the fruit. Oh, what about the um? Oh. The rum. rum. Yeah. If if you want to put the the rum in the sangria or the clericot, that is the same. Just remember that the name is Sangria Argentina. What is the name? I don't know. But <laughs> that's you what they call it here. Yeah. Okay. You want sure. Why not? Yeah. Get a little topper? Yeah. No, thank no, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we, it is a Wednesday afternoon. I know. Oh. Where do you have to be? <laughs> but in Puerto Morelos, we don't have any, time. Any this is the that. same day. This is the same time. This is all the time. It's always weekends. happy hour here. <laughs> it is. Happy. It is. It's a, it's a dangerous yes. road to travel mm. down. Okay. You can hardly even taste the. Rum. Mm. That's dangerous. That's tasty. That's a little bit more tart. I think I like the red one a little bit better. But that's just my personal preference. Let me see. Yeah, so that was made with a yeah, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So I'm Yeah, and I'm not a huge white wine drinker, so. Yeah. They just mm -hmm. recommend no oaky. So avoid no oaky. oaky okay. Chardonnays or what have you. Perfect. Okay, what questions do you guys have? Yeah. Go ahead and post them in the comments. If you have any. I see a comment, but it's so far away, I can't read it. Let's okay. see. I think it's from our friend Kim in Boston. <laughs> yeah, she just says, our favorite people and most delicious chefs in all of Mexico. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Kim. Kim and Paul were one of our first clients that they hired us um, kind of sight unseen you know, to cater for their them and their wedding party, or as a group of six of them at their villa, um, to do happy hour every day for them in Puerto Morales and then do, do one formal dinner. And they're super nice, and thank you for your comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this was just lovely, and I love learning about new drinks and stuff like that, so. Um, I know, yeah. I was thinking. What? Let's try next week to do Ponche Navideño. Yes. I don't know what that is. What is it? Tell me. Oh, Ponche Navideño is amazing. So it's a Christmas punch Ooh. and it's got all, it's hot, served hot, oh. and it has all kinds of stuff in it. So, Good stuff? Yeah. Is it sweet? Is it it's like eggnog? Is it sweet? It's sweet. What all is in it? It has, um, Tejocote, what is it? Nance? This is a tejocote, yeah. Maybe it's Nance. called Nance, N-A-N-C-E. -E. They're oh. like little tiny, they look like mini this is pears for... or mini, mini um, peaches or something. They're tiny. Oh, like this big. Okay. Um, spices, uh, guava. Caña de azúcar. Sugar cane. Wow. Tamarind. Wow. Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica. I don't even know what some of those things are. Yeah, okay, so that sounds let's like a do good that. Match. Cinnamon. Oh, uh, cinnamon? Yeah, cinnamon. So I thought that would be fun to do next week before we get super into the season because I know everybody gets busy over there. We definitely are getting busy over here. Yeah. But we need to make some for our um, Christmas dinners and our New Year's dinners anyway so we can practice. Great. Here online. Sounds like a plan. All right. Thank you all for joining us today again. Um, I am Elizabeth Sherman from Total Health by Elizabeth. Doña Sonia and Chef Marco with me. And they are both caterers as well as uh, cooking, teachers. Yes, cooking classes. Yeah. And um, I help folks ease into healthier living uh, in the areas of diet, exercise, stress management, sleep management, and smoking cessation. 
So um, you all have an amazing week, and we will see you with see this our, next... See our Ponche Navideño next week. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it, so I'm going to work on <laughs> pronouncing that before our next Facebook Live. All see right. you guys. Bye. Cheers, Mom. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>